We have a big epidemic with police officers and deputies shooting dogs. I mean, I would bet you that 95% of law enforcement on the street today have never received this kind of training or information or do not have it. Uh, you know, I come from the old school where I started my police career back in the early 70s. And back then it was taught to us to neutralize a dog. Um, dogs were just considered property. And in society today, it's changing. Dogs are not just property, they're part of the family. And unfortunately, our profession hasn't caught up to that yet. And so that's why we're working really hard to try to get this training so that officers can now can have it and know what's going on. Because when an officer ends up shooting a dog, it rips right at the fabric of the community. All you have to do is Google police shoots dog or deputy shoots dog. There's a website called uh, Puppy Side that's, that's documenting every shooting, that's putting everyone on page. This problem needs to be solved. So we talked to Virtua, which is one of the manufacturers of uh, the virtual training, and said, would you be willing to work with us on this? Would you be willing to take the time to, to add these scenarios to your already, you know, already good library of situations that law enforcement handles? And they were very receptive of it. 470, report of a subject down, possible medical condition. Whoa, get out of here. Get, sir, sir, are you okay? I can sit in a class and talk to you and tell you how dogs behave, and I can show you some videos. But when you can step in this 360 environment and you see a dog coming at you, and depending on how you act is the way the scenario is going to go, there's nothing that you can do any better than that. Did you see my dog? Black? Yeah, you know he ran off that way. He ran off that way. We need to make sure that officers understand dog behavior because if you understand the way that dog behaves, the chances of you shooting are, are, are slim to none. All right, sir. Please, we need your dog to calm down. What are you doing? I said he doesn't bite. He's not dangerous. Uh, you can't wait until after an incident happens and then everybody rushes out to get the training because the damage is done. And that's why we took on this challenge because we realized that law enforcement didn't get it. So if we can teach officers dog behavior and things that, that are going to help them when they get in these encounters, it makes them and everybody else safe. And then it keeps the life of a pet uh, within that family where it belongs.